We decided to bring this production to Norwich Puppet Theatre because um, Peter O'Rourke is one of the uh, most eminent designer puppet makers in England at the moment and he gave us the idea of Red Riding Hood using a different slant on the story. The main difference is Little Red is a little bit more um, on the ball. She senses what's going on and she's clever enough to take action for herself and not wait to be rescued. And we were really interested in that idea, we were really interested in his design concepts and thought it would be an excellent opportunity for Norwich Puppet Theatre. In a sense we want to make it a bit of an, emo an emotional journey for, for Little Red but at the same time we want to create sort of patches of real fun and humour. The production itself has its serious moments um, and as well comic moments and there's a variety of mm. performance styles. And has a range of kind of puppet types as well without feeling in any way sort of disjointed so we're mixing kind of raw figures like we have here with kind of masks and glove figures and shadow figures so and some of the wolves are just just heads so there's lots of gesture and as well as the the manipulation of the characters we've, we're kind of manipulating the set as we go through the story as well so there's been quite a bit of emphasis on how we move the sections you know going from one act into another. We see this production as marking um, a new beginning really for the theatre to return back to creating productions in-house which we used to do. What is wonderful about creating something is that there is a process and in that process people are involved right from the very beginning and everybody works collaboratively to create something new. Oh I think the design of everything is amazing. I just can't get over the characters and the set design and just the overall aesthetic is just so cool. The way they made it with all the brown paint paper and they've bleached it all and dyed it and all the dyes and things they all match and there's such a cool colour scheme throughout the whole thing. combination of the performer and the movement and the voice brings, I think that there's an added magic, it brings this piece of wood to life and I think that is what, what people find fascinating. I think you should get excited about it because it's a very interesting way of using puppets. I think that there are some aspects of it that people might not have come across before that um, might open their eyes to what is actually possible with puppet theatre. I think that it's going to be a visually stunning production. The music is wonderful. It's going to be something exciting. It might not be what people expect it to be. It's not the, the standard ending that we all know. I'm not going to tell you anymore. But this will be a different sort of um, experience for Christmas. A very well worthwhile experience for Christmas as well. It really brings the story alive. It's a very vibrant retelling of the story and I think it's an exceptional experience that I hope that as many people as possible will benefit from.